finally i have been waiting for this day for a while so it is a hundred degrees in fresno right now uh all right so we are gonna see if these heat fins really work on this bike we got some satorade fluid in here we got the heat fins it's a little dirty um you've seen probably the last two videos if you stuck around and subscribed to this channel if you haven't go check it out i've done one where it was like 70 degrees and then i did one when i think it was like 92 or 93 outside now we're doing it when it's exactly triple digits it's 100 degrees it's gonna be 104 in the next hour it says so as we ride it actually might get hotter and i'm gonna monitor the temps for you i'm gonna show you real quick if you can see that our battery current current limit is at 100 we're up there and my current percentage right now is 75 so let's go to ac monitor and it's showing that our motor temp right now we haven't even rode uh, drove the bike or anything like that so we're at 42 43 for temperature i'm gonna give you a readout the whole time we go to work so you guys can follow along on how hot it's getting and if you want an idea my work is exactly 5.88 miles away from my house but i'll definitely give you an update you know when we're um, a mile two miles three miles into the ride and what our temps are looking it is definitely going to be a hot one I'll tell you that we're already at 50. we hit 0.1 of a mile we're already at 50. we're at 55 already very very hot i expect the temperature to rise pretty quick but what i'm hoping it does is it doesn't let it stay so hot when i was stock and i had the power turned up exactly to where i have it right now i was hitting 110 and it wasn't even 100 degrees outside it was probably in the 80s and i was hitting 110 when i had the whole controller set up to 100 percent we're at 60. We're about one mile into the ride and we're at 60 62 so so these heat fins should keep it from getting hot fast but i'm i'm really hoping it just keeps it from going past what the actual ambient temperature is which is 100 right now so we are at 66 and we're 1.6 miles into the ride 60 62 63 uh it's showing we're at 68 and we're two miles in 72 all right so back to it we're at uh, 76 78 and we're 2.5 miles in. My bag is sweating. <laughs> My bag is definitely sweating. It's a hot one. All right, it's gonna be a long straightaway. This is really going to uh, probably turn up the temp. and we're about three miles into the into our ride all right so i let off and we we're at 82 still three miles in it's definitely working and just keep in mind i'm not affiliated with this company i don't make money off of the sales and they didn't send this kit to me i just did it myself because in california it gets hella hot and summer was coming and i did it right before it started getting hot and i think it's really going to help this bike in the long run so it doesn't like cut off and uh, start kicking power and stuff like that or damaging the hub motor um so far we're still we're at like 83 84 and we're three and a half miles into the ride so we're doing really good i saw 86 real quick he's way up there so let's uh let's get on it we're at 86 88 we're at 90 90 and four miles and keep in mind
lie, guys. I'm trying to ride kind of hard. I'm kind of trying to be on the throttle, like, fully. Some of these riding conditions might not be for you, but, you know, I just want to try to, I don't know, I just want to try to get it up there. But we haven't hit 90 yet. We're right under 90. We're like 86 to 89, kind of bouncing around. We do have an overpass coming up, though, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we do on that. All right, full throttle again, so we're up there. We're at 94 now. What are you doing? I hate people. All right, so we're at 92 and 4.5 miles. uphill now 98 we hit 100 just hit 100 i definitely knew that was going to uh hit 100 probably going up this thing we're at five miles we're at solid 100 we haven't went past 100 yet no we went back down to 98 yeah, we're at 95 to 100. It's kind of bouncing around, but uh, once we hit 100, it didn't go over 100. Surprisingly. Very surprisingly. Ooh, there's a cop up there. They don't care about us. Yeah, we're at 92. Now that we, like, we stopped for that little brief time, it went down to 92 to 94. Yep, still 90, 94, 95 pretty good this is gonna show off it it's gonna show like 5.4 miles or whatever but my work is exactly 5.88 miles I've done the research many times this thing is a little off but that's not bad guys we're at 91 and I'll show you again when we get to the back exactly what everything is I'm not even gonna turn the bike off whoa what's up man what's up <laughs> youtube star man youtube star yeah <laughs> Got a point to hey it is 84 to 85 it's bouncing around but it's doing good doing definitely really good let me show you what the temperature still is outside all right so this is the temperature outside right now from when we left it was 100 and now it's 102 just so you know <laughs> And our temperature is already down to 83. Not bad. I'll come back in 10 or 15 minutes. Keep an eye on that clock, it is 12.46. All right, like I said, I would get you a temperature readout. We are at about 69 to 70 for the motor temp. And this is the time that has passed. It's 101 right now. So that's exactly what to expect after you let the bike sit for a little bit. I think these things are working pretty good, guys. I would highly suggest getting them. Definitely highly suggest getting them. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're thinking about getting these heat sinks, I'm just trying to help you guys out. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Like the channel.